Hello, welcome to vlog 14 of the Doctor Who Pinball Restoration. It's getting better all the time, like the Rolling Stone used to sing. <laughs> okay, so the flipper rebuild kit have been taken care of. They are brand new. And also, I need to continue my rant on how much the, the, the flipper rebuild kit uh, suck. I don't remember if I mentioned it, but it was also missing the link here to attach the spring. So I had to pull put the... the maybe I'll talk about it. I don't remember it well, but yeah, the, the old flipper rebuild kit missed that link that attached to the spring miss the screw that holds in place the end of stroke switch this can those can be missing it was missing the screws here also it was uh, missing the little bumper cap the nylon sleeve and even those screws can be kind of missing so this is this could help to be included in the flipper rebuild so uh three of them have been assembled they cannot be completed until i have finished Come uh, cleaning the flipper bat. Uh, they are uh, uh, in pretty bad, dirty shape. Structurally, they are great. They, uh, there's no crack. They are still very strong, but they're quite dirty. I clean one of them to show you the before and after. But it was so dirty. There was there is some dirt that I could not remove completely, and that's a first. I must admit. Maybe because it's yellow, but usually white flipper bat, I can bring them to new condition. But this one really suffer. But of course, this will not appear when the, uh, the rubber will be applied on it. The most important part, the part is the top of it. And it's shiny brand new compared to the other one. I took good care. So this is the whole one. It doesn't show that much, but... Uh, the, uh, uh, there is a plain version. The two bottom flipper have the lightning embossed effect, and the upper one is flat. But uh, I, I took great care of cleaning the, the lighting, the lightning, and uh, yeah. So once this will be done, I will be able to slide it from underneath, slide it through the hole here, tighten it down, and the flipper kit will be completed. I also take care, took care of this little wire that was not soldered. I made a huge revision based from the dozens of pictures I took before disassembling the play field. And now I can say that every screws are at the right place. I have a spare underneath ramp, a spare lower ramp. In order to be able to take this and apply this on the metal, Armature, I will need to and have all the little legs. I will need to pierce and and Broke 19 rivets. I don't have the tools to do rivets. I will need to use a little uh, nuts and bolts to do that and to be honest The original one is in great shape structurally it's just a little bit dirty and thanks to my great Novus product, I will clean that ramp and make it look brand new. With a lot of cleaning with Novus 2 and 3, I can say I'm very satisfied with the result. It looks pretty, pretty good. And I can now put it in place like that. I will make it whole even though I will have to remove it when I will be... Well, I'm not sure if I will or not have to remove it when it's going to come down to installing the mini prefield. Anyway, I'm going to put it back in place just so it's not wandering around <laughs> in my workshop. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, next step is actually the mini play field. And now it's time for the famous slash infamous Doctor Who mini play field. What a beast. It's pretty heavy. 20 pounds? Don't know. Um, a lot of work will be done on this unit. Um, it's quite dirty. I will disassemble completely. I will have it all like an accordion. I will go stretch all the parts like that. that close it down when I'm done. A lot of parts will not make it on the final assembly, such as the plastic shroud here. 
I have a NOS one on stock and a whole new set of stickers too. It's broken on the area here. Uh, I got the cliffy that will go on this uh, mini play field. Uh, earlier I talked about how the CPR Repro is not quite on par with the original one. I've uh, had some discussion with the client and if we can we're gonna try to salvage the original one, do the minor touch-up required and clear coat it. Otherwise we'll go with the CPR if it's not salvageable but I think it will. It has a miler on it and uh, there's only maybe a little point here at the doctor that is a bit uh, beat up, but that's it. Okay, uh, this is the thing that reset the little target here. That, that's a pretty cool mechanism because when you push them, they kind of latch underneath. And when this thing drop, it push on this one and release the target. Those targets have been repainted by a previous owner. Uh, in a clear and durable yellow. Unfortunately, the durable yellow had some um, miss happening here. Uh, we ha I, I had some discussion as, will we try to repaint that one? Or will, will we bring them all back to their original gray color? I will do first a test with my yellow paint, if I can bring it back on par with all the rest. If it's not feasible, will go with the stripping of the paint and um, also it seems like I don't know why but the, the previous owner I don't think it was done in factory but somebody seems to have kind of dropped a pint of Aunt Jemima maple syrup and that there's a lot of grease I will clean all of that I'm having a hard time manipulating this without getting all my finger dirty and I will apply silicone uh, grease when I'm done of course I will clean all the opto because you see that uh, I'm pretty sure there was an opto error and I'm pretty sure can we see it it's that one here is it's filled up with grease there's a nice little film of, of grease on it it's impossible that this thing is working right now impossible so just by wiping my hand on the knee I can see the amber color coming out so yeah um, there's a lot of screws that are not original too. I will try to find as much as them. Like this one is not the original one. It's supposed to be Phillips screws. And this, these one and this one are not original either. They're kind of flat type of screw. I will try. And this, <laughs> I mean, th this coil assembly is just about to fall apart. It was a matter of playing maybe a dozen of game and this would have fallen apart. Okay, so it's a nice catch <laughs> that we get to work on this right now. And uh, if you have a motor, that's a nice trick I've just seen on YouTube. If you have a, 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 a motor with a, that you think may be deficient, just unplug it and a 9 volt battery. Come on, come on. Can you believe that? A 9 volt battery is enough to move the pinny play field. Watch out for your hands. I should have put the stickers. Huh? Okay, so I will take a lot of pictures inside out of everything. I know there's a PDF online too with a lot of explanation on how to dismantle, disassemble it and reassemble it. So that's... Uh, some step that I will take pretty soon in order to have the most pristine mini play field ever rebuilt on earth. Also, oh, that there is this little thingy metal part. Sorry, there's this metal part here that was hanging out from this post, and I couldn't remove the play field until I removed that post. And this was homemade. Why? What's his use for? Because this is clearly homemade. I mean, it's some kind of metal bracket that he bent and put it in place. So I, I think it was a bit looking like that. I think it was... Uh, I, I don't remember if it was... It was definitely going down. Uh, yeah. So was it some guard of something preventing the ball to do 
any problem i don't know also i um, before uh, going before going to the next step just want to show how much the the finish of the metal have, has been hammered through the years it has you know that hammer hammer style you can find some tang in some paint so hopefully all this hammered finish will be removed once and when i'm done refurbishing this metal piece okay that's it ah oh, let's get to business things are going pretty well this assembly is simply removed by unscrewing four screws afterward you have access to this module that you have only five four screws to remove then you can pass the little cable through here and remove it i managed to remove the motor to do so you have to remove the little c clip e clip and the washer and you unscrew all the up toes and the bracket then you can remove the motor the up toe is very dirty and i just can address how much grease have been applied it, it works it, for a long time and if it's not it's okay but I, I just prefer having a module that you don't get your hands dirty and you know the grease actually move on the up toe so it causes some problem so yeah i think silicone grease is the way to go but i will first i will remove those clips the washers and now i need to have access to those four screws to remove the mini play field um how i do that oh i'm pretty sure that when i remove the uh, the eclipse and uh, washer i will have i will be able to remove this bracket the u-shaped metal bracket is pretty easy to remove once you remove that part here that is actually here it allows you to kind of open just a little there's some notch so it's not bent it can it will get into its original position in a in a jiffy so it's not a problem so you just open it a little then you're able to kind of sl slide it and remove it like that but my hands get so dirty i need to i wish i had gojo right now in my workshop because I, I, it's such a mess every time i touch this module finally here we are the mini play field is completely dis, disassembled and i'm left with a bare mini play field to uh, refurbish i will start by removing uh, this uh, little protective adhesive stuff that i've been applied on it and i will also remove the miler then i will clean it and see if it's salvageable it's pretty beat up on the side here but i have a cliffy metal protector that goes there so it could actually hide uh, all the bad parts so let's have some faith on what can be done with that okay i won't be going any further than that with the old one because upon lifting and i take a really really good care when i remove a miter but sometimes uh, inserts got so whole that even with all the precaution i had some inserts that lifted around here so this could be salvageable i could actually scrap scribe all of this print a new insert and put it back and it will be as good as new but we have a cpr one and i just talked with the client and we'll go with that i got everything on hand to do all the little pre-drill holes i will mark them and perform them as precisely as possible like a robot and when it's done it's going to be cleaning and reassembly tom cochrane used to sing that life is a highway but that does not apply to pinball restoration we are more like in the sidewalk step by step okay right now i'm comparing an old mini play field with the cpr one and we have a problem because if you take a look at it every boat right here are a line but there is a gap here and here it means that if i align perfectly the bolt play field side by side like that you will realize that these bolts are a bit further forward so the problem is i cannot screw the brackets on this like that 
because if I refer, these are the screws that the bracket will screw on, okay? And these are the other screws that the assembly will screw on. So usually these are supposed to be perfectly aligned like that, okay? It means that if I screw it like that, I will have a huge gap at the back and the front will actually hit the play field. Yeah, exactly. So, the most simple, easiest way to solve this is to actually trim on the bandsaw about, well, actually not that one, but on that one, is to trim about two millimeters. And it won't look good, but there's a cliffy metal protector that actually is put over this so I not only have to actually remove about one or two millimeters but I have to take into account that there's the thickness of the cliffy protector too so uh, the cliffy protector are here and um, let's take a look the alignment is perfect and uh, notice about the millimeter and a half gap here and that the hose is quite at the bottom of the metal protector, okay? If I try to do the same with the new Repro one, well, this is the one that goes on the main play field. It's the, kind of the front lip. So if I put it, I'm gonna try to do it with only one hand. I don't put the screw, the width is okay, but the alignment with the screw is not right. You see, this one is a bit too at the left and this one is a bit too at the right. So I will have to kind of make some groove on the cliffy protector to make it fit. So the width for each screw is not the same. This is perfect. This is the original one. But on the, the CPR there is some kind of very minimal gap. It's not too much but it's enough to require some work. And if you take a look at it you see how the holes actually is hitting the top of the hole here. And there's about two millimeter and a half maybe three I almost see the black stroke so it really needs to be closer to the light slug so there's actually it's very misaligned there's actually too much material here so this is what happens so I don't have much choice but to remove it and I uh, also wanted to show you that the cliffy protector come with the hole protector like this. And they also, how convenient, have the guides to make the drill, to pre-drill my holes. So I'm just going to have to perfectly align this cliffy and I'm going to be able with my pen to mark everywhere I need to make a pre-drill. That's convenient. That's a nice surprise. Sometimes I like it when it happens. It doesn't happen as often as I wish. Okay, so up to cutting this. Now that I remove two millimeters at the mini play field, I can see that if I align both play field like uh, screw next to each screw, we can see that we have almost a perfect match. I removed just a teeny bit more just because they're actually gonna be uh, uh, an extra uh, width because of the cliffy protector. Um, I'm pretty happy with the cut I made. And now I think we can finally start assembling. Oh, there's only one detail I wanted to show you also. Look at, look at that. The CPR does not have exactly the same hole for the stand-up target. It's not a big issue at all. Uh, it's not a, a problem, but it just shows that even what anything can CPR say, this mini play field is not on par with the original part. I decided to put the upper lip behind the one that goes underneath, just so that it looks better when raised up, because otherwise it, it just look a little bit weird to have this one getting over that one. And uh, it's pretty uh, great fit. I had to remove the T-nut from underneath the older play field to put on that one because it was missing. I don't know why they only put the T-nuts on the top. All the ones underneath missing. I don't know why. 
But hey, okay. So I uh, just want to make a little uh, before and after shot also of the guides that goes on the side here. So after many, many years of ball uh, going through them, it's all hammered and beat up. And right now, pretty happy with how it's turning out. There's only a, just a few spots, but it's day and night with what it was before. So let's do this one too. Finally have... A mini play field all prepped up, everything I've been pre-drilled now and I'm finally ready for assembly. Can you believe that? This play field is so metal in so many ways. It's so metal. I mean, wow. And it's such a simple play field actually. There's only three shots to shoot for. Kick out, uh, kick out holes or the stand-up target. But uh, yeah. It's a very strong and sturdy armature, so the ball will not go anywhere else. And I will stop here for now, because there's been a lot of talking, not as much doing as I expected. There was a lot of little steps to take in order to have that kind of finished product. It looks good. I mean, uh, finally, uh, I'm pretty glad we go with the CPR version. Yeah, it looks pretty amazing. On the next vlog, I'll be working on the kick out hole and the stand-up stand target. And I will be also replacing the canopy by a new NOS one. I got a brand new bunch of stickers to put on. And I'm gonna have to find a way to actually be able to transfer all these uh, on this. But I don't have the rivet tool. I don't have that kind of tool. So I'll try, I'll try to find another way. So, thanks for be watching. Stay tuned for more vlog coming on. And like, share, comment, subscribe, click the bell. See you soon, bye.